Hey, Sean here. If you're confused about how to improvise when you're holding the two chord, you should consider using the dark side of the circle of fifth. Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Sean, and today I'm discussing the opposite of a video I did on the Lydian and how to brighten your songs. This is coming from the opposite approach and telling you how to darken your songs or how to create suspense and tension, even in a song like Give Thanks. Now in today's video, I'm gonna talk about a concept that I have not heard a lot of, especially in a gospel context, and it is a Locrian natural too. And in today's video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna discuss where to use it, um, how to use it in a minor seven flat five context, when to use the Locrian natural two, how Mike Burreal uses it in this song. I'm gonna give you some examples you can use. The Locrian sound is usually used over minor seven flat five. Basically, it's kind of like a minor seven chord, which is a D, F, A, and C, but instead of the fifth note being an A, we flatten it and make it an A flat. And because the A is flat, we call this a minor seven flat five. Now this chord is usually used in the context of a two, five, one. So like, let's say we were doing two, five, one to a C major, but if we were going to a C minor, a lot of gospel musicians would prefer to use here, right? But, but the confusion is, uh, a lot of us don't know what to do. Like we wanna be able to improvise, we wanna be able to have ideas to use when we're playing that minor two. The Locrian natural two works perfectly with the minor seven flat five chord. So we're gonna start with the melodic minor. And in order to do that, you just take a simple F scale, take the third note and make it flat. Those are the notes in the F melodic minor. And to get the Locrian natural two, you simply count up to the sixth note, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is called the Locrian natural two, and it works perfectly. And it works perfectly with the minor seven flat five. It's a sound of darkness. It's a sound of tension. It's a sound of suspense. And in fact, if you look at the circle of fifths and you look at the dark side of the circle instead of the light side of the circle. And what you do is you take that circle at the 12 o'clock position. I put the D because we're in the D. We're on the D Locrian natural two right now. And if you look at the first seven notes and count the seven notes all the way down to the six o'clock position, you will have a D, G, C, F, B flat, E flat, and A flat. And if you put these notes in order, you'll notice that you get the Locrian scale, the D Locrian scale. It comes from the dark side of the circle of fifths. However, we call it Locrian natural two because the second note has been raised a half step. And so it gives this, it gives this really interesting sound um, and it provides suspense. So these are the notes that you would use to improvise over a minor seven flat five chord. Now let's look at how Mike Burreal uses this particular sound. Okay, so now let's look at like, um, how Mike Burreal uses it. I'm not, I'm aware that we released a song on Thanksgiving day. For, so that's why I chose this song. Check this out. That sound right there. Notice a part of the song where it's talking about weakness, where it's talking about human frailty, that we use the darker side of the circle of fish. And this is the power and the beauty of using the circle and using and, and infusing emotion into your chords and into your music. So on the low, on the C minor seven flat five, he has this scale, but it's more than just a scale. This thing is a whole sound because I could have went, has this unique sound that will give you so many different ideas. So let's use this on some other songs and see how we can do it from there. So let's try it on Grateful. So I am grateful for the things that you have done. Yes, I'm grateful for the victories we've won. Now check this out. I could go on, right? Oh, this, what in the world am I playing here? What kind of notes am I choosing? This is the low Korean natural two sound because on this D flat minor seven flat five, I started from 
the E, but I still call it a Locri natural two sound because I'm using it with a minor seven flat five. So, see, so you hear how that sounded? So, so, and I'm grateful for the things that you have done. Yes, I'm grateful for the victories we've won. I could go on, see? That sound right there. A lot of us, we don't know what to do on that minor two sound, but see these notes from that local and natural two scale gives you a whole, whole different type of sound that you can use. It sounds so dark, right? It sounds suspenseful. And it's the same notes that I gave you. So here's my minor seven flat five in the left hand. I just started from the E. Right? All right, let's try another song though, so you can see. Um, another example of this. How about we go to Amazing Grace and C? So let's use it on a B minor seven flat five. I'm about to do it here. Here it is. There it is. Those are the notes. See? So, remember, because I told you it's all white notes, but except that C sharp. So this is how to use that Locri Natural 2 sound to really give a different type of sound using that dark, using the notes on the dark side of the circle of fifth. For everybody else, if you're watching this on Thanksgiving Day or somewhere around that, or even if you're not, just remember, always have and find a reason to be thankful. Thank you so much again, and we will see you guys next week.